welcome to Fit Life with Chero. Yay! This is where you're doing Fit Life with me, Chero, and I'm so, so, so excited. Welcome to this space. So, this is a place where we get to share health, wellness, fitness information, and all this is to just revive hope so that we can learn to optimize our best health. And we do that in a language that speaks comfortably to your soul guys and i'm so proud to say that this is all brought to you by africa's finest so today is a very special day because this is our very first interview episode and i'm super super excited about it so thank you so much for being here and i want you to know that you can definitely like this video if this information is working for you share it with someone who you'd like to hear um and just be able to share the healthy vibes with somebody else right and of course comment as the interview is going on comment below and let us know what are some things that are sticking out for you what would you like to work on okay so guys Today, I have an amazing, amazing guest on the show, and I'm so excited because he's inspired me so much. I got to meet Felix, and you are going to meet him, and the thing that's so inspiring about Felix is he transformed his body in just like seven months. He was like super skinny and went to muscles. Talk about discipline in literally seven months. And you can do it too. So we're going to hear from Felix and find out how did he get to do this. Okay, guys? So everybody all the way from Mombasa, Kenya, welcome Hi. to the show, Felix Oko. Felix, 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 oh. welcome, welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. In. I'm already in. <laughs> yes, yes. You should show us the guns. Show us your guns. Show us the guns. Let me see. Yes. Uh, that one. Ah, yes. Exactly, guys. So this is Felix. So Felix, let's hear from you. You know, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I know you're in Mombasa, Kenya. You just started your business like three months ago. Talk to us. Let's hear from you. Okay, okay, okay. As usual, my name is Felix Otieno from Kenya. Wait, your handle is Ral Fitness. Why yep, yep. do you? Uh -huh. So why Ral? Tell me a little bit about Ral. Where does Ral come from? Okay, the Ral come from the name Dola because uh, before uh, I started to do fitness, I was an artist. Uh, but the, uh, my artistic name was Ralod, Ralod, R-A-L-L-O-D. So, uh, once do shorten it as Ral, yeah? They call me Ral. So, uh, uh, as, as I told you before that, uh, I decided to use uh, music for some time. So, I decided to just to, to, to take over with the name. I didn't want to leave the name behind. So, I decided just to take the Ral. To be fit because people uh no no be as a lot so i just want to leave the name i like what you said like you you went from music to fitness like how did that transition happen for you how did you decide to go from music to fitness because i love art yeah gym, fitness is an art gym is an art so uh okay not that uh during when i was doing music uh i was not going to gym i was going to gym but i didn't took it serious because i didn't know that it can make me the way i am because i was just uh going to gym to look good you know for the stage performance when the people see with the muscles you know uh, like you know ladies you know whatever <laughs> yeah <laughs> you feel amazing when they, you see your packs you perform their chest you know yeah that, that's what well, that, that's the motive uh, I used to believe in when I so, was in music. I got to gym to look good. I see. I yeah, which is like a lot of people's motives. I know for me right now, I literally have a goal to do like a really nice fitness photo shoot in like three months. So I want to look good. So I'm hustling in the gym. I'm going every day. It's keeping me consistent because I have a goal. So it's kind of nice to like know your why. Why you chose to do it. And so then now... At this moment, you transitioned and you became a fitness trainer. So it started with just the love of getting to look good. What made you decide that now you're going to have it as a business? Because your business now has been going on for what, like about four months or so? Heartbreak. 
Heartbreak ah okay. <laughs> ah, nimekumulika. <laughs> no, but you know what? What matters is you started and you're doing it and you're doing an amazing job. Look, you're training me. And guys, it's so amazing because Felix does it for me virtually. So that's another really cool thing that I love about your business is that you can train people virtually. But tell me what made you like now get that confidence? There's someone out there who's in the gym and they're working out, but they don't know that they can actually have this as a career. What makes you decide that this can actually be a career? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh Last year, December, I was heartbreak, nearly at one, because of gym. I had the girl. <laughs> I'm listening. I like it. Spill the tea. Heartbreak is a good ah. motivation for <laughs> a lot of good things. Uh -huh. I didn't have that money uh, to, to make her happy, you know, because the work was this in Django, Django stuff, but she, she okay, needs to life. <laughs> With her, with her, alikuwa na do, alikuwa na do. So, you know, wale, uh, the people who who when you wakona pesa, they see you as you depend on them so much. You know? So I was like, damn, I need to prove her wrong. I took gym seriously. I, I, I went from the local gym where by, uh, I used to train. I didn't know how to train well, by the way. I was only concentrating on my muscle, which was arms. I, I used to train my arms a lot. Uh, Kidogo, Kidogo, uh, I improved to a gym of 50 bob, eh? uh, where we pay 50 bob gym now. Uh, I improved. So uh, you'll find that I'm going to gym like a week, then uh, uh, I miss gym for three weeks. So if I pump for a week, uh, then I miss for three weeks, I shrink again because I don't get enough feed. I don't drink a lot of water. I need to know that water can make you to, to look huge. So I, I omitted. Yeah. But tell me, water makes you lose your muscle? Water can make you shrink. Ah, interesting. So that is why when you go to the gym, you need to really drink a lot of water because it's what yeah. preserves your muscles. Yeah, because uh, you might see somebody uh, pumping, oh, okay, and I look big, but uh, the moment he or she left to drink water, she will automatically shrink. Yeah. Yeah, I lose some weight. Yeah, water is very important. Water is yeah, water very is... important. Okay. Yo, so uh, by that time, uh, I was able to uh, afford a uh, gym like a uh, three day gym that's 150. I paid at once. Then I got gym for three days. Then I missed for three weeks. I pump. Then after some time, I reduce. And the book at the job is the where you can find, you can miss, you know, you can go find this. It was like that. So I was like, you know, you cannot go to gym and you don't have food in the house. Food, mm -hmm. you don't have food in the house. So I really, uh, that, that is the point where I started to love gym so much because I wanted to put the girl wrong. But I really love this stuff. I, really I really like this story about this heartbreak. So now with this. Okay, I know it's not good to go through heartbreak, but it's a very good motivation, like I said. When it comes to such a, a situation, like it, there's a lot of mental health, right? What would you say uh, is something that, like, how does mental health correlate now with going to the gym? Because at this point, your heart's broken and you're working out. Did, did the gym have something to play with your mental health? Okay, you know, if you go to the gym, that's why uh, you have been advised <coughs> for the people who are stressed, depressed, are being advised to go to the gym. Because if you go to the gym, uh, the gym will make, uh, will, we will control your moods and also it uh, will make you active. You be active, you forget about everything, concentrate on, on, on uh, lifting weights. Cause because you'll be get you'll, you'll get motivation from the other people. You see somebody, this guy have grown and make muscles. You wanna be like him, you know. Mm -hmm. So you get motivated with the things you are seeing there, and also interaction. The way you interact with the people, someone will advise you, you know, ah, you know, leave alone that story. Can you concentrate on this? Make yourself fast. Uh, talk someone... to us. Tell us about the ladies, because now obviously you're a trainer and you're working with many different clients, right? 
So tell me, what are some things that the, the, the clients come to you? Like now the women, they come and they say, I need a flat stomach. Some are very, very stubborn. Eh? Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Someone can tell you that, you know, uh, I, I want you to go away with my stomach, but don't go beyond my ass. This is my, 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 my body. I don't want to be touched. It's okay. So, yes. Okay, but so, uh, most of my clients... And is that like, possible? Yeah. Can I just lose my stomach and then I want to keep my hips and everything else? That's a lie. It's not easy. It's get work. Even with a waist trainer? Yes. Will you hold the weight in the stomach? Will you carry the weight in the stomach? You know, you don't have Eddie, just come and tell me I want to look good, I want to turn. That's enough. But don't tell me that I want to add I want to reduce my abs, but my my, my, my legs are okay, uh, upper body is okay. I only need to get rid of this. It's either will you will you decide to work on your full body? Ah, so it has to be a full body workout and then the weight will just melt it. Exactly. Okay, I like that. So now how would you tailor a workout? How do you how do you see a client they come to you and they say these are these are my goals and this is what I want as my results? How do you go about that? Before we start to work out, I'll ask you any default? What you are goals? After educating for me everything, now I'll do for you a program. You, as a coach, what are some things that you put in place to make sure that you're able to keep your clients motivated? Do you have a mirror? Yes. Do you have a mirror, someone you are eyeing on? Uh-huh. Yes. Somebody you admire, you want to be like? Yes. Ah, I see what you mean. Like having... um someone to look up to yes yes aha uh -huh. i do several very my my instagram is just filled with beautiful bodies exactly. that i would like to yeah <laughs> aspire to yeah. that's why every gym there must be a mirror because you look at yourself in a mirror you see yourself you admire yourself aha you know? uh -huh. yeah yes. do you have music always i love to listen to music when i'm working out or i like to listen to podcasts also or just information that's gonna keep me going uh-huh music motivates you that type of music when you place them even if you're tired i tell you you will find yourself working hard like i don't know that's true that's very true yeah, that's like a lot of i love the african beat like the afro beats when I'm feeling, ah, uh, I put on some Afro beats and it's just, it gets me going in the gym. Sometimes we're listening to salsa, you know, but it because, works. Uh, sometimes you can go to the gym and feel like I'm not feeling like doing anything. I don't feel like doing anything. But mm -hmm. the moment you put some music, I tell you, the way you feel, the weights are very light for you. You ask yourself, how about, how about this happened? I, I even don't know what the way it has happened. It's that motivation. Some music uh, motivates you. And also, uh, me, okay, with me personal, sometimes uh, I don't feel like working out, but mm. maybe I go to the, I, I take a phone, I go to social media, I have someone who my following from, uh, from America, uh, he's called Ebanks. So, okay. the moment I see Ebanks working out, yeah. I go crazy, I go crazy. Sometimes I'm supposed to move the shot. I start to <laughs> Yes, I love that. So like you're basically saying when you're feeling unmotivated to go and exercise, you can use your feed, use social media to be able to inspire yourself to get that drive and that courage and that zeal to say, okay, I'm going to do it. Let's go. Uh, yeah, if you look yourself, for example, the, the moment you remove the shirt, you see your muscles, you see your abs, whichever, you feel good, you see, ah, I've grown, let me go harder. You go hard, you know. And also, uh, what makes you motivated in the gym is uh, the way you play, you're dressing for, yeah. You're uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, yes, Felix, definitely. Your dress code motivates you. For me, 
it really makes a difference like especially like let's say when i'm doing my back workouts it's a back day or something i love to have my shirt that's like crisscrossed in the back it like excites me you know or certain colors if i'm i know i'm doing leg day or lower body day there's certain kind of uh outfits that i want to wear that will accentuate the muscles so it's able to keep me going certain materials help you feel different make you look different so you're very right having that like set like the matching set i love it it makes me just feel wow okay and it helps me to work out better so you're very true before doing anything you must do a warm-up a warm-up what's, what's what's the role of a warm-up warm-up uh prepare the muscles for the battle for the ceremony yeah yeah it's prepare you from work so if you come from home if, imagine it's not a must to greet kilam to uh -huh. it's not a must as long Get as you know what, take your headphones, <laughs> put your loud music, mind your business. What are some things that you would need to eat? What would you say? I'm, I've done my workout, I've gotten my time. What kind of meal plan? Everybody's always asking, what should I eat? There's this thing about protein, 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 protein. You know what I mean? So is it important for me to eat protein the first five minutes after getting out of the gym? Or, you know, things like that. What would you suggest as a trainer, as someone who's experienced? What have you seen? Yeah, before, uh, we have before and after. Yeah, before hitting to the gym, uh, you can take a banana, can take uh so no fasted uh fasted workout you know how people like you gotta go to the gym fasted it's you're able to burn more fat okay fasting yeah especially like you fasting, wake yes. up and go straight exactly. to the gym before eating something yeah you know here we talk real we talk real what what we do we don't talk what people other people do so we want to stand different so with me what i do i always don't eat anything <laughs> That's the truth. Uh huh. Because my there's so many people ask me how I transform. Yeah. Yes. And some people do think that I do eat so many things before going to the gym. I eat a lot. After gym, I eat plenty of food. No. <laughs> Let me tell you. I I, I normally wake up at uh, at at four forty. Four forty a.m. In the morning, so uh, I go to the gym because I have plans from five to six. I train them. Then from six to seven, I have another plan. Then I rest until uh, eleven. Eleven is when I'm taking my first meal. You know, for for your if your things to flow, you must follow your heart. Okay. Because what your heart gives out is what your body can get and consume it better. You That's think true. genes play a part in this? Everybody's different, basically. That's what I'm hearing. Everybody's different. So what works for me may not necessarily work for you, and what works for you may not necessarily work for me. So it's important to know who you are. What Even physique. It? Physique. Yeah. If you look physique, uh, my physique is different from another person's physique. We cannot be the same. My genes are different from your gene. You see? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I do not use supplements for me to grow, but you use supplements. So it reach a point you admire me again. I didn't use supplements. Now you admire my body because your supplements are backfired. You look so funny, funny. So. <laughs> do you use supplements, by the way? Ah <laughs> uh, no, I don't use that. My supplement is food. Yeah, food is my supplement. That's the best food. Carbs and. <laughs> So you're just eating natural everyday food, but people say that's not enough protein. Like you need to have the protein shake, the protein shake. Many keep that enough food in Missouri. I can grow bigger the way you see me. My jeans are big. My jeans are big. So you're those you kind of people who okay. can eat like five times a day, six times a day. You're eating a lot. No, I don't. I don't eat too much. Eating. Eating up here it depends with your mentality. Like me, I eat two meals in a day. I eat late, uh, I take late breakfast, like 11 ukwama sasita. Then my supper, I take late supper, sanune, but it's a thorough supper, not just supper, but <laughs> a thorough one. Okay.
So those are your big meals at 11 a.m. and at 4 p.m. And then after that, you don't eat. Yeah, I can take a drink. Even, uh, let me say yogurt. Uh, yogurt. Okay. And uh, yogurt and fruits. Then I sleep. I like that. And I think that kind of goes into like the intermittent fasting, you know, where people like you stop eating around 7 or 8 p.m. And then you don't eat again until the next day around 11 or 10. And I think it's good because you allow your body to 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 rest and your food to digest and everything. But people say fasting eats into your muscle, you know, like not eating, you're eating into your muscle. But I don't think so. I think your body is able to handle it. How do you keep yourself updated on the latest fitness trends, on what's going on? You know, like right now, for instance, I'm hearing a lot of talk about people using weight loss pills. There's a lot of people talking about that. How do you stay up to date? And what are some of these things that people should just like stay away from? For example, let's talk weight loss pills. It seems like an easy way to go. I take a pill. It helps me lose the weight. I don't have to go to the gym and do all the work and everything. What is your take on that? I always tell you, as long as you have an workout, just do it. Because if you go to the social media, you stay updated with all those things you know as a trend. You know, you can, you know, in uh, that person, how many years to do that thing? You, you want to do it on the same day, you want to transform me on the on that day. Because is looking good. You think that he have that. Okay, you need to have some clients. They come with for you with uh, with a video. They show you. I ah, look at this guy. He's been doing this thing. Now look the way he have changed. What? Then I ask you. So what? Because how, do you know how long that guy have, have, have taken him to do? Yeah. That's true. A what? lot of times they don't show you the behind the scenes, the hard work, all the things that they have to do. They just want to show you the success. But it's not that simple and it takes time you're right it definitely takes. so people need to be realistic you need to come with a realistic goal and you need to know that it's going to take time if it took you a year two years to gain the weight it's going to take another year two years to get it like off like for me for instance i took my break for like two months oh my god my body transformed in two seconds i couldn't believe it but now i'm trying to get it back and you're helping me with that but what i'm seeing is it's taking time it's gonna take maybe another three or six months or so just to get back to those abs that i really 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 had and then i just let them go but i appreciate you felix because you keep encouraging you're very encouraging i like working with you because you encourage me to like you know keep going and you remind me hey i can see your goals i can see you're changing i think you're doing a great job if you were to be a workout uh which which workout would you be my favorite workout. I like to go the workout. I combine everything. I do everything. In fact, let me tell you, if I don't do full body, I don't feel I'm okay. I need to do full body. Eh? Every day I do full body. Initially, I used to isolate. I hate legs by the way. Before I do eight legs, let me tell you the truth. Last year I need to Oh, by the time I was starting my, not my career of training people, but my tra training myself, I neglect uh, my legs. I didn't train my legs. I was looking like Tony Bravo, like this new one. Yes, the, like... you have the big arms and the chest and the small legs. <laughs> the disadvantage of having uh, the big upper body and smaller legs. When you walk a long distance, uh, you feel so much tired. Your legs are very, very tired. Why? You wait here, you imagine I achieve so your legs are very tired. They cannot, <laughs> they cannot carry your body anymore. You know, because you don't practice leg work. You only do upper body. You know, we men, uh, we believe on upper body. For a man to be seen like he's a gymnastic guy, you must have big chest. So those are the frame things they must see. Frame thing, they are the framework, uh, the big arms and the chest. They forget about legs. They tell you that, ah, you know, for the legs, trouser like a funica. And that's the same thing with the women too, Felix. 
for us women, we don't want the big muscles and the chest. You're like, no, I just want to have like the small waist and the hips and the glutes, you know. So it's like, it's very opposite to men and women, you know. It's quite something like equivalent. Your, your biceps is like the glutes for women, you know, men's biceps. Let's talk recovery. What are some of the things that people can do after the gym? What are some important things you need to do after your workout to recover and prevent injuries too? You talked about warming up. Very important. I've seen the benefits of warming up and not warming up it's not good to have an injury it sucks when that muscle is just tight and you can't stretch it it can't loosen it up things like that happen when you don't warm up properly what about recovery after the gym cool down we call them cool down mm. <laughs> ah after workout you must stretch do stretch what we call stretch mm -hmm. stretching is very important yoga we call it yoga very important Enough sleep. You must sleep well. Sleep well for two hours, and then you namuka. Need a good eight hours of sleep. Seven to eight. Alafu chakula feed. You must eat well because you work a lot. Yeah, when you come in, they they work a lot. They eat. They eat small. Okay, it depends. It depends. Depends if you're going. It depends. So, like you should eat. Do you usually work a lot? Oh, me, I can eat. I eat, eat, eat. Okay, because I'm working hard. I like that. <laughs> no dieting, no restrictions. We're going all out. But a lot of protein. I try to eat a lot of protein. Most of my plate is like protein, vegetables, and the carbs. You got to have carbs. Can you tell people they need to eat carbs? We need carbs in our life. We, we got to eat the rice. We got to eat the bread here and there. You know, we got to yeah. eat such things, no? Yeah. Have a sandwich. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. So you must eat. You must eat. You must eat well. You must do stretching, you know? Yeah. Because I recover. You must, you, and you must train five times in a week. I like that. I do six. I'm on this. Yeah. When you pro, when you pro, <laughs> you're an elite. We're focused. We're focused. Man. <laughs> Quick question. So, you know, like someone like me, I have this goal to reach in two months, you know, for my birthday in February. I want to do my whole fitness photo shoot. I'm a mood. I'm like 41. Let's go. We're doing it in style. Um, the holidays are here. Happy holidays, by the way. Like you said, I think today we were talking earlier and you're telling me you're going for an end year party, gym party. So um, what are some of the things that people can do during the holidays to just kind of like not lose it completely? You know what I mean? So that in just this week, two weeks of celebrations and of course people are eating and drinking and the whole unhealthy stuff, you know? What can some people do to just make sure that at least by the time the holidays are over and they're coming back to the new year, new year's resolutions all over again, that they are not starting from scratch? Because I don't want to let you down also. Like, it would suck if I just do all the work we've been doing and I'm just like, it's Christmas. Ah. No. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. What are some tips? Uh, as usual, your diet, you must check your diet. And you should love to maintain your body. Maintaining your body is not a must to go for the gym. Maybe you can go for a holiday somewhere. Uh, there's no gym, you know. So which equipment can you use there for you to, to maintain your, your body? We have jumping jacks. You can do jumping jacks. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the sit-ups. You can do sit-ups. We have push-ups. You can do push-ups every morning when you wake up. Uh, the dips, dips thing, you can use a log, if there's a log outside, you can use a log, or you can use your bed, or you can use your chair. Yes, the like the chair right behind you, that works perfectly for dips, very easy, uh-huh. Simple cardio, just simple cardio, 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 yeah. High knees, air squats, just to maintain your fitness. Uh-huh. Show us dips. Yeah. I can see you have a chair right behind you. Show us some dips. Show guys the dips. Maybe somebody doesn't know what dips are. There's a there's a yeah. chair right behind you. I know you can use. I like the dips because you know we all talk about our arm and there's that over here. These are some workouts that can help you with oh, tightening yes. your oh. arms. Uh huh. Uh huh. 
Very nice. Those are the dips. How many? Like 12? <laughs> as much as you can go, because I, I want to be there with you. I, <laughs> you can go <laughs> until you get tired. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Felix. I think you're really awesome. You're really awesome. You're doing a really, really great job. I really appreciate you. Thank you for your time. I think, as you can see below, guys, you can follow Felix um, at ral.fitness. Okay. I'm so grateful for you, Felix. We're going to wrap it up. Um, give me something. Tell me something. Something some, somebody doesn't know about you or any last, uh, last minute uh, anything you want to say that maybe I didn't get to touch on? I'm very happy meeting Chero. Meeting Chero. <laughs> our own. Our Kenyan. <laughs> our <laughs> For life. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, actually, you, I, I really appreciate uh, I like your hard work. I like the way you sacrifice your time with me. I like that. Uh, you really show me some love. I really appreciate and uh you're really working hard i can see you always on your workouts you do an amazing job and you are the first person from outside the country i'm doing for uh the person of training the virtual and the online thing and it's really success yeah. it really thank works you. thank you sculpted by felix y'all are gonna see make sure you just stay here with us you're gonna see transformations just like felix transformed his body in literally like seven months i am looking forward to transforming my body too so felix thank you so much i must say i'm just i'm so grateful for you to make the time you've given us a lot of information and i'm really 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 grateful for that i think kabla wende before you go you said you're a musician and you're a rapper so give us some bars yeah. i love it it's so patriotic i'm so proud to be african and that's what the song is about so yeah give us some bars let's hear it just Woo! just a few lines okay 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 hey you're turning back two years ago huh? two years ago down the line it goes like this maisha karata kuna kusaka na kukota na kukota sipe mwego siku moja na japata pina damu bendera bendera kwa sipe mwego siku chungu pepo na kukota pia manyumba nyingi ni manyata matemba sindi wa rembo they find you looking like a rainbow afrika basi kuna tembo sisote basi tunaringa afrika basi kuna simba atuwezi basi pia bimba shere kita badu tunapenda Choose Africa for a holiday Our custom culture to easy Pia watcha wa sungu wana tuwa Africa kuna tuwa Africa not the best Tribe to na Zulu Masai Hey! That's what's up Felix I love it, I love it Oh my gosh, thank you so much You rock, you're amazing Talk to your people If someone is looking for you What are some of the things you look for from your clients? Both physical and uh, online Motivation is a must. I must motivate you. I must call you. We talk about the progress, how is the workout, and physical. We must see, discuss on how our program goes off. What's the progress? Should we change the program? Yeah. Is it really giving it the result? If it doesn't, what can we do? We discuss on that. And after we also do live coaching. I love that feeling. Guys, I've had an amazing time. I hope this information is going to revamp your fitness. It's going to just help you take your goals to the next level. Please make sure that you do like this video so other people can be able to get to see it and get to um, be encouraged through it. And of course, my friends, make sure that you subscribe to the channel because you know and comment, comment because this is like a two-way thing. Thing. two way two way you and me we're friends we're buddies we're doing this community together we're walking this journey together you're definitely not alone so follow me at fit life with Chiro on instagram on twitter i have it right here at the bottom you can get to see how i'm keeping fit through the holidays because best believe felix is going to be making sure i'm working out my five to six days a week so thank you so much and please go check out felix at ral.fitness he's awesome if you're looking for someone to just keep you motivated to keep you going to get your workout to the next level he's definitely that guy so thank you all so much it's been amazing thank you for doing fit life with me cheryl thank until you. next time adios